What's up, guys? It's Kiku from GeeksGamers.com, and I am here with Deadshot himself, Michael Rowe, at Pensacon 2017. How are you enjoying it so far, man? So far, so good, man. Feels a little weird holding this ice cream cone. Uh, That's actually why I did blueberry, it. Blueberry, blueberry scented microphone. If you uh, I feel like we're gonna sit, sing a duet here. I ain't got nobody, and I know, but actually, we could sing Dead Kennedys. Holiday in Cambodia. <laughs> you actually started off um, in a punk band. That, yeah. Uh, we, we became friends yesterday because yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. Best friends. I'm yeah, like, I was in a band called Bucket Truck. Played the drums in that band. Toured around quite a bit. Made a good go of it for a while. You know, played some dirty, stinking bars and slept on some hardwood floors. And I've been there. Yeah, it's good, there. it's good stuff. I miss uh, it. Did you? You know what? I actually miss sleeping in a bathtub. Uh, so sometimes I will go home and I'll throw pillows into the bathtub, and I'll be like, "Punk rock life, bro." And then my girl Sick. goes, "No, you need to, you need to come, come, come back to bed." Um, I had a friend that when we used to tour, and he'd get drunk, he would go into the bathroom and he would turn on the shower because he said the the the, the sound of rain was very soothing and then he would fall asleep with the shower on in the bathroom with the door locked all the time um counter story to that my ex lead singer had to go take a bath at every house that we partied at that is weird it is uh, but i'm gonna steal that and start doing it fair enough do it please do it um you became dead shot everybody uh knows you as the og dead shot um how did that come about the og the original yeah that's cool i never thought about it like that og dead shot make that my new handle um yeah, it was weird, man. I, I was playing music my whole life, and the band broke up, and I didn't know what really I was going to do next. My younger brother was uh, writing and directing. He got me interested in acting. We started making some stuff together. I actually started to like take it seriously at a certain point, got a manager, and Arrow was like the third audition I ever went on. Wow. And uh, great way to kick it all off, that I guess. Is. It's been a wild ride ever uh, since. Yeah. <laughs> um, so how did it... Not how did it feel, because that's a terrible question, but um, obviously they killed off the character, um, and you guys were just building steam as the Suicide Squad on, on that show, um, and then you transitioned into Ninjak, mm -hmm. which is a really awesome character from back in the day, but it's like completely random. How did that come to be a thing? Well, I was uh, talking to the guys who do this uh, internet series called Superpower Beatdown, mm -hmm. and we were going to do something together. Um, we had some weird concepts that we were talking about I wanted to to be have like a, a, a episode where I fight Deadshot that would be yeah awesome. and so we were, we were working on that and then at the same time he was in contact uh, with the guys from Valiant talking about this new series and I guess they thought you know I suited and so I met the guys from Valiant and next thing here we are we're about to start filming episode three of the first season that's next awesome. month yep that is awesome uh do you have anything else coming up um besides the ninja project which you should check out i mean you should yeah you can watch the trailer online uh bat in the sun have it up on youtube ninja versus the valiant universe is the working title um it was pretty fun to trade in the guns for swords i gotta say i grew up like you know Run around in the woods throwing ninja stars at trees and stuff like that. So in, this, in a weird way, I've been training my whole life for this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with four brothers. Like random attacks were just a thing in my house. Right. So it's all coming in handy now. Nice. Um, nice. But other than that, um, my younger brother Andrew Rowe, who I said got, got me into acting, yeah. we continued to do stuff together, and we actually just filmed our first feature film. Uh, it's called Crown and Anchor. We're just working on the final touches and post production. Nice. We recorded. We filmed it. Um, the place where I grew up, Newfoundland, Canada, a little island in the Atlantic Ocean, just up north from here. And um, I'm psyched, man. We got a nice little film on our hands, and, and we're going to release that into the festival circuit now for the season. Awesome. Guys, be on the lookout for that. Also, you can check them out as Captain underscore Row on Twitter. Yep. Uh, also, check out Ninjak versus uh, the Valiant Universe, the entire universe. And Crown and Anchor film. Crown and Anchor film. Um, and also, go back to the old seasons where he's dead shot because he was one of my favorites. And check out Bucket Truck. If you can find any videos, I have dreadlocks in that band, and you'll probably get a kick out of it. I'm going online right after this interview. <laughs> um, this is my best friend, Michael Rowe. We love punk music, and keep it nerdy. We'll catch you guys next time. Oh!